Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Frontier Regional School and FCAT TV's broadcast of the uh, girls soccer game between our Frontier Red Hawks and the uh, Red Raiders. Yeah, here we got a great matchup between two teams. They'll be duking it out on a nice, uh, nice chilly Tuesday evening it over is. here in South it Deerfield. Is. Really happy first. First impression of the game, I'm not seeing a lot of the long span next that means we've got some tough athletes out here. Oh yeah, they'll be brave in this cold. Although hopefully it won't probably dip below 40 tonight. Yeah. But anyway, these girls can handle it. We've seen them do it before. Oh yes we have, but this is our debut on the air this season and I tell you, I woke up this morning and it felt like Christmas morning to me. Oh yeah? <laughs> Any storyline for you tonight, Karsten? Well, we've got a um, middle school keeper and a um, goal for Frontier, so that's certainly something, and I'm sure they'll be looking for her to, looking to her to fill that spot for the next four years. For sure. So it'll be interesting to see what she can bring tonight and uh, really gauge the potential she has for this Frontier team. Yeah, obviously Coach Patelli's got to have a ton of confidence in her to just put it right in there against all these older girls. Definitely, and not a whole lot of seniors rounding out this lineup either. Only a couple, I believe, and Jenna Martin and Maddie Crocker. And we said all last year that they had a young team, so I guess we're saying that again. And we, I think we've yet to really see what this team can do. Definitely. If you look at the roster right now, as I am, you see a lot of not only juniors, but a lot of lower classmen, freshmen, sophomores. And if you're Patelli, you've got to be uh, loving that look. For yeah, sure. but also you've got to be pretty frustrated when the growing pains are going on. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> but that's just a part of it. <laughs> He'll have his fair share of frustration, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> And I've seen a lot of pink socks. That's interesting. Must be for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Must be. As October is. All right. Looks like we're about to get underway here. Yeah, soon we'll be serenaded by our resident athletic director reading off starting lineups for both teams. Yeah, a little background on the the league position of these two teams. We have Frontier slotting in at fifth place, fourth place, sorry, in the league, and Athol right behind in fifth place. Two very similar records, and so we should certainly be expecting a close game tonight and not a one-sided battle. And I tell you, the stands are packed, and I think everyone here is ready for the game. I'd say they are. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to tonight's game between our guests, the Red Raiders from Aff Hall High School and your Frontier Red Hawks. We'd like to introduce both teams. First, our guests from Aff Hall and their reserves. Number 18, Sophie Putnam. Number 6, Crystal McCulley. Number 17, Madeline Robertson. Number 19, Lily King. Number 2, Sarah Gillette. Now for the AFL starters. Number 5, Shelby Melu. Number 14, Taylor Cleveland. Number 10, Angelica Baptista. Number four, Grace Dufour. Number seven, Jenna St. Cyr. In goal, Haley Wrigley. Number 12, Allie Raymond. Number three, Hannah York. Number eight, Rosalind Nelson. 
Number nine, Kendall DeLeo. And number 16, Emma Basagalupa. The Raiders are coached by Tim Cleveland. Now for the Red Hawks reserves. Number four, Caitlin Devine. Number 15, Alexa Cassis. Number six, Megan Danak. Number 11, Alina Mays Poland. Number eight, Isabel Marapisi. Number 12, Samantha Scanlon. Goalkeeper, um, Emily Sullivan Joyce. Number 20, Sierra Young. And number 22, Soka Venegas. Now our starters, number 13, Maddie Crocker. Number two, Jenna Martin. Number nine, Natalie Dankevich. Number five, Claudia Rajpali. Number seven, Victoria Speth. Number 14, Jessica Risley. Number 10, Cambry Hamilton. Number three, Sierra Warren. Number 17, Caitlin Mackin. Number 23, Grace O'Leary. And in goal, Siamara Green. The Red Hawks are coached by Phil Patelli. He is assisted by Bill Apt and Sean Dankevich. Esquire, Deerfield's town moderator, he's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773 for all your legal needs. Body C DJ service for the best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bodycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield, Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Join us for the first time. Two brand new underwriters, Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Captain and Steve Elkins are longtime Deerfield residents and supporters of local athletics. Visit them at yarn.com and Cheslick's Market in the center of South Deerfield. Great coffee, snacks, and great lunch specials, too. Go see Nicole and the gang today at Cheslick's Market in the center of South Deerfield. Well, something you notice right off the bat, Carson, is that we've got a lot more depth over here on the front here, Red Hawks, than on Athol. Yeah, what were you saying? A lot more depth for Frontier. Uh, Athol's only got four substitutes, and who knows how many of those guys the coaches are, will actually be willing to coach it. Mm, for sure. I mean, you got senior Katie Devine on the bench, and I'm not sure that she's able to play right now with injury, but... Yeah, you saw that big old... That's the only senior Frontier has on the bench, but yeah. a lot of juniors, for sure. Big cast on her leg. I don't know what happened, but they're not a cast brace. Yeah. And the clock has just hit 6.30. Wow, perfect timing. <laughs> well, we'll see when the ball gets kicked out. <laughs> Near perfect timing. Frontier getting some last minute advice from their leaders as they prepare to kick this one off.
Natalie Denkevitz, number nine, will start it off for Frontier. She is the leading point scorer, and for the second straight row, she will probably finish that. Uh, finish that way as she now stands with 18 points. And the next closest uh, sophomore, Cambry Hamilton, has 11. See Frontier work it up the side. Good possession early on, not trying to force anything. Yeah, some nice crisp, crisp short passes here. The wing to Mackin. Ball stays in over to Hampshire. Athol. Got Athol here tonight, folks. <laughs> Crocker smashes it off the Athol play. Going for Frontier here. Into Martin. Good job getting in the middle. Looking to the sides. Now Speth with a great through ball, and it's just a little long. Yeah, just out of her reach there. Yeah, Denkevitz really trying to put on the Jets for that one, but couldn't quite get to it. A good run, good idea. Athol trying to set something up for themselves, immediately taken apart by the Frontier defenders. Kevitz. Good job getting it to Natalie in the middle. She goes down. A little bit of contact, but not enough to warrant a call. Down the wing. That's Mackin over there, only a freshman. Yep. She got Good in the ball. middle. And yep, that'll be on. Mm, dang, Kevitz. No. Not a whole lot of... Yeah, that foul will be on Grizzly in the box. Not a whole lot of energy in here. Frontier will settle for the throwing. And it goes right back out. Yeah, right idea, but just a little too much power on that boot. Comes to throw in. There's Martin, one of the few seniors on this team. Plays it back to Speth. Frontier trying to work it in the middle. Now Athol will try and go on the counter attack. And Frontier will respond with the same. Oh, great ball up the side to Risley. You wonder if the playing servers might be a little slick today because of the rains we experienced earlier. Mm -hmm. But with those rains, we experience a rainbow. Yep. And just like the rain, <laughs> with the Frontier Girls soccer team, when it rains out here, it pours. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Yeah, this feels like a game where goals could come in bunches for sure. Yep, as soon as one team starts picking up momentum, <laughs> you gotta be careful. <laughs> that ball's gonna go out. We've got our trusty ball boys and girls on the sidelines tonight. Yeah, I think it might just, oh, yeah, just that sideline. Always the underrated heroes of these games. Oh yeah, I remember the days when I used to be one of these Back at the UMass soccer games. Oh, yeah. Just learning the ropes. <laughs> Getting out there, giving it my all. Chasing after balls. It's the life, I tell you. <laughs> Played into the box. The goalie elects not to go for it. And she'll have a goal kick. Beth will take the kick as the anchor of the defense back there. The key member of the team, the lefty. Boots it out. And misplayed over there. Maybe a result of that slick surface we were just discussing. Possibly. You never know when that ball hits the grass. It can do some weird things. Yeah, it looked like it took a little skip there. 
Definitely got to factor that into passes and shots and everything tonight. Here comes Frontier up the right side. Not particularly friendly if you're a goalkeeper either. <laughs> Trying to work stuff in the middle, it's just not quite there right now. Yeah, Frontier, good pressure early on in the first five, six minutes, but no shots on goal yet. Yeah, you've got to think possession's at least 70-30 right now. Yeah, exactly the way Frontier would like to keep it. And here, Athol could not gain possession. Frontier headed back to the middle. There's Dinkevitz with a shot from outside, and it goes just outside the right post. The goal is going to run and get it. I don't know if that's necessary. It's pretty far away. And she's yep. called back. So we'll get a goal kick here in a sec. <laughs> That'll be cleared out to the center, and Frontier will begin the assault once more. Oh, Dinkevitz with a hard That'll try be a outside 18. That'll be a corner. Be the first set piece we have here tonight. Front just starting out with their players. Looks like they're gonna have a bit of a run in. Design play. It's low. Ooh, and yeah. Frontier got to it first, but not a great angle. Yeah, I think you want to pop that a little higher into the air. Let it get over the front row defenders. Neither coach has made so much as a look towards their bench so far. No. It'll be interesting to see how substitutes come into this game and play a role. Here comes Hamilton up to the left side. And there'll be another corner. And once again, Dan Kevitz will take the corner. Surprising since she is one of Frontier's best finishers within the box and has some height to her. But Definitely a strong kick from her. And that's a good oh, corner nice. end. Uh, nothing there. I mean, there was something there, but. Yeah, <laughs> she just missed it. Lack of execution. Really a low energy game. Of all the, all the games we've been to, man. Are you talking about from the crowd or uh, players? Well, or you general? know, it's, it's contagious. And we're not seeing it from anyone right now. I think we gotta just. Except maybe the boys in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to help each other, <laughs> hype up each other right now. I mean, we've got a row of fans down here, headed by some seniors. I see Xavier Santiago down there, centered on the football team, but I'm not hearing a lot of noise from them. Yeah, he could be a little more rowdy, I think. I hate to call anybody out, but... Like you just did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said I hate to do it, but sometimes it's necessary. <laughs> Athol with some possession. Stringing some passes together, broken up by Frontier. Yeah, you cursed it. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Hamilton. Nice and ball. Good chance for a counter. They've got Denkevitz inside. It's a race to the ball. Oh, good turn. And we are going to get our third corner. You know what that means? It's the triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hopefully, another uh, good, uh, good kick from Denkevitz. Get it nice and high up there. There it Ooh, is. That is nice and high. Mackin with a chance. Ooh, just over the top line. Yeah, just over. Foot or two under, and that's a, that's a goal. Yeah. Right idea. It doesn't need a whole lot of speed if it's high enough. We've got about 10 minutes down here in the first half of this game, and we have seen complete possession domination by the Red Hawks, but yet to capitalize. Mm hmm Mackin wins that tough ball. Yep. Ooh. Nice defensive play there. Athol will try to do something, but they're working with a two on five right now. That's just that's just hard. Nice pass in there. Hamilton, yeah, Hamilton the middle. Space. Good ball. A just little a outside. outside. Yeah. Yeah. 
Frontier is doing this uh, domination of possession basically just with their offensive players, which has really allowed their defense to just hang back and relax. Yeah, stay fresh for when they need to run. They yeah. get to the ball first. And it's prevented any type of counterattack from Athol. They've got one girl up, up top, and <laughs> she's going to have to deal with four defenders if she wants to get through. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, all of Athol's middies have been having to stay back to contend with this. Yeah, every single midfielder has been turned into a defenseman. Shot with the left. And it's in. in. Wow. Got some height on it, and the goalkeeper just not tall enough maybe yeah. to swat that one away. Just out off her outstretched fingers. Yeah, and that was deep, too. You're looking at maybe 20 yards. And with the left out. foot. Left foot. Very impressive early on. And, you know, that just shows you sometimes the, the shot might not feel the best, but just getting it on goal and good things happen. Yeah, well, that's great. 12th minute, already getting points on the board. And we're seeing a substitution now. We've got Megan Danak coming in for Sierra Warren. So Natalie Denkevitz, the junior, getting on the, getting on the board early. Again, already. There's Mac oh, jeez. We said it earlier, when it rains, it pours sometimes. So we'll see if Frontier can keep this momentum up. And this Thursday will be Frontier Girls Senior Night. And the night after, Friday, will be Frontier Boys Soccer Senior Night. And we'll be here to catch both of those games. A lot of excitement for those. The talk of the town. Martin plays it back out. Ball gets popped up in the middle. Ethel is trying to touch the ball. Frontier goal in the there 11th goes Hamilton. Minute. Yeah, Scored Hamilton looking nine. inside. Oh. Good ball inside. Oh. And that'll be a goal kick. So Athol dodging a bullet a minute after getting hit by one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure these defenders will be worked tonight. And Athol doesn't look like they have a reserve goalkeeper either, so this is what they got. Yeah. I'm sure someone in the field will be willing to step up if something catastrophic happens to their current goalkeeper. Yeah. Better than playing with no goalkeeper. Mackin. Big shift. Yeah, if you're the Athol coach right now, you got to come up with some type of adjustment here. Uh, Danak got burned on that one. And regained position. You would think that would be a time for a counterattack, but Frontier quickly gets back on defense. Great hustle. And Athol is stopped in their tracks. Yeah, it honestly seems, watching this game, like Frontier's got two extra girls. <laughs> yeah. Because immediately on defense, they outnumber them, and as soon as it switches to offense, they outnumber them. And Athol makes a quick substitution here. Yeah, they're keeping Denkevitz up. She's searching for the ball. She gets to it. Just goes between her legs. Now, Athol with some good field position. They've got a girl up the here side. We go. Mm. And Speth clears it out. Yeah, Frontier really gets that under control. Hamilton stays with it. Looks for Denkevitz. Denkevitz has two options. Elects to choose Risley. Oh, Risley. Oh, great opposite shot. When it rains, it pours, Carson. Exactly. And we've seen it in Sunday five minutes. Morning. <laughs> Man, she woke up. <laughs> we will continue that. Uh, uh, we'll continue when the next goal comes. <laughs> But in five Luke minutes, we've had two goals. <laughs> 15th minute. So we had the first one on the yeah. 11th or 12th, and already in the 15th minute. Can you hear that whistling, man? I think it's the wind coming out of the sails of this half hour. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and right into the sails of these frontier girls. <laughs> yeah. They are just flying. And let's hope for their sake the boat doesn't sink. For Athol's sake. <laughs> <laughs> And for the fans' sake, hopefully, we get a couple more minutes before the next one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. I thought I got the ball down in the 
Ooh, nice D by Speth. And Athol will have a corner, their first chance to actually get something in the six yard box. Yeah, this defense is looking pretty strong right now for Frontier. Untested so far, but Speth especially back there, just nothing's getting by her. Mm -hmm. Yep, they got near post, far post, and Speth right in the middle, ready to just clobber someone if they get too close. Hey. I thought I got a head on it. Oh, oh, oh. that is a great, miracle. Great defense by Marapizzi in there, I think. Wow. Yeah, she had to go line, just headed away. Wow. And that dribbled right across an open net. It's just pure luck that somebody wasn't there to blow yeah. it in. <laughs> great D by Marapizzi in there. No sign of a goal. No sign of a goalkeeper, and she just kept it out. Here comes another corner. It's up. Keeper gets a hand on it. So both those look like really good chances for Athol, but unable to capitalize. But look for them to keep that pressure and try to keep getting into the corners because those are some nice, nice chances. Yeah. So a small silver lining in this game for Athol, <laughs> <laughs> finally getting a good chance, and hopefully this is not the last one. <laughs> And just to confirm, that last goal was just Risley on the right side. Here comes another run. Assist from Denkevitz, I believe. This is Poland who just subbed in. And it looks she's like looking to go. Gotta kick that out of bounds. Don't want it to be another corner. I think I got stick. Frontier here. assist on the first goal by number 10. Cambry Hamilton, Frontier second goal in the 14th minute, scored by number 14, Jessica Risley, assisted by number 9, Speth Natalie corrals the ball. Nice move. Spath with space. Yeah, she's not afraid to take it over half. Yeah, Crocker, good pass over to the side. Risley trying to get that. Will she keep it in? She yes, does. she will. Will that be a corner? It will. So now we've got a square for Frontier, four corners. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see what you're doing there. I wasn't sure when you said triangle after. Oh, uh, I did. <laughs> so tell me, what, what, what did we have when it was two corners? <laughs> we had a line. Ah, did the line really have corners? <laughs> or did it go forever and ever in either Whoa. direction? Infinitely. I'll leave that one to you. <laughs> Here comes the kick. Maybe we had a cord. And here comes the JV Athol team with some pizza. They're going to fill up the stands a little bit. Maybe add a little bit of noise and atmosphere to this this game tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Megan Dana cleared it over. Hamilton with another great pass. She's really tactically skilled here. Reminiscent of her two older brothers, Connor Hamilton and Zach Hamilton. Both very valuable assets to the Frontier team and contributors to Western Mass Championships. Yeah. Let's see if she can add to the family resume. Yeah, the legacy. Yeah, she's got a couple more years to do it. And some great youth behind her to help her out. Yeah. Great communication from Speth, directing her teammates as an upperclassman leader should. Here comes the throw. Kicked around, and Frontier comes out with it. There's Crocker. Crocker trying to bring it, and Jenna will take her place, Martin. Nice, uh, but then she just kicks it to the other team. Looks like she has some space to go with it there. Another attack from Frontier. Take it away. Maybe a oh, no, taken away. Sent in to Cambry Hamilton. She's looking around. Oh, she finds a wide open base pole in the middle. And taken away by Athol. 
Yeah, Frontier feeling the absence of Dickevitz a little bit, I can tell. Definitely not as much pressure on the defense and uh, really just, oh, but oh, here we go. Mace Poland, uh, she had a chance to go with it. She just hesitated. You wonder why. Uh, oh, they, but there we go. Chimera Peace. Nice save. That was heading right for the corner of the net. Yeah, you wonder why uh, Coach Patelli is taking Denkevitz out. Maybe just to get her star player a break. Maybe she's got some soreness somewhere. But it certainly feels as though this game will not be that tightly contested. So maybe one to rest some of the more important players. Yeah, definitely. And with senior night right around the corner, that's a must win for this girls team. And 2-0 is no. The game is certainly not over. No, and especially after that close call we had maybe five, six minutes ago. Yes. We're nearing halfway through the first half. 20 minutes to go here. Mm, Athol has some potential. Three girls coming up. Nice passing. Getting up the right side. She beats the last person. She's got to get in the middle. Nice save. Right to the keeper. Yeah, and I wonder if she could have taken a couple touches and tried to get a little bit closer to the goal, yeah, having definitely. beat that defender. I think both teams right now could benefit from a little more patience. They, it seems like some of the girls are beating their, their man, but then having open space and kicking it right off. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got a long game ahead of us. We've still got 59 minutes of playing, at least. With stoppage time, an hour. And what's inside this is Martin. Martin, she's holding on to it. Bit of class there. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> Risley almost prospered off the Athol player, hitting her own player on the side of the head. Risley really evolving into one of these offensive threats for the Red Hawks. Mm -hmm. And she's someone that we didn't necessarily see so much of last yeah. year but has really turned her game around because Hamilton and Dick Kevitz certainly factors during last year's team, but Risley certainly an evolving talent that has yeah. one more year left after this. Yeah. Some familiar faces from last year's team that made a run to the tournament and a lot of new, uh, new faces as well, so that's nice to see. There's the throw in. Beth will control it. Send it over to Danak. Just out of reach in front of your player. Yeah, really back and forth right now. Frontier's got to settle it and get back into their rhythm. Yeah, if you're Athol right now, you might want to put a little more pressure on the ball. They're kind of just letting Frontier play around with it and pass it. And it seems like they're not really... Ooh, the contact there. More contact. Oh, here we go. Here comes Risley. Risley has somebody open the middle. Looks off sides, though. Yeah, maybe a tough angle for her on that one. Yeah, I think Mace Pullen was a few feet off sides. Not sure if she saw that. Very few fouls called tonight. Yeah, the rest Not a whole the lot of physicality. Or the refs are just not calling it, but. Yeah, you gotta let them play. Or a thicker sweater. Is throw in? And Athol is putting it out. You know, it's always our tradition here to select a fan of the game, but I'm not seeing too many candidates right now. Yeah, I think it would be unfair to the competition to name one tonight. <laughs> I know. We've had some such, such great uh, fan showings in the past, and I'm just seeing a bunch of kids with their hands in their pockets. Yeah. Uh, classic teens. <laughs> Teenagers these days. Oh. <laughs> well, Risley. 
Wins She's got one the person in the middle. Can't quite find her, though. Yeah, she had a little more time to do something with that, I think. Yeah, Risley, I mean, yeah. she's coming up the right a lot. Now she's coming up the left. I'm not even sure what position she's playing. Yeah, she's been all over the field. And we're going to have a big substitution. We've got Dan Kevitz. Samantha Scanlon, number 12, and number 5, Claudia Rajbali. So Patelli may be looking for a little bit of a little bit of a revival in his team's offense and maybe rack up a couple more points. Patelli put two more girls out there. We'll call him Cal Perry with the five five by five switch. <laughs> Definitely a great coach of mine on the sideline from Kelly. <laughs> yeah, not sure if Athol has uh, done a substitution yet. They have. They have? I believe okay. one or two. Definitely not nearly as many as this Frontier team. And it's just quite clear why. They just don't have the options off the bench. Yeah. And now, do you think that's because coach just likes a small team or just dwindling numbers showing up? I, I would say it's a dwindling numbers. I think it'd be pretty crazy to only select four bench players if you had more options. And when you look at this JV team down below us eating their pizza, not a whole lot of them either. Yeah, I mean, I mean a couple, few of them could fill some spots, but yeah. Who knows? Here comes Martin. Yeah, Martin looking for Dick Kevitz. And Kevitz loves in the middle. As soon as she gets some, some clear space, she fires, bounces away. And now Athol escape. Frontier defense will corral it. And you know with this whole numbers thing, it's it really is sad to see a lot of these local schools having to shut down athletic programs where maybe some kids are interested but they just can't get the numbers to field a full team. Mm -hmm. That has a lot to do with enrollment and a lot of other factors that make it hard for these sports to function like they did. Yeah. And so you see some teams even combining, such as uh, the Turner Falls football Yes. Uh, which has worked out for them, but there's really not that feeling of maybe camaraderie within a team when you have people yeah. who don't go to school with each other practicing together. Yeah, I think those co-ops have some success, but... Certainly, I mean, they're able to take the best from multiple programs. I don't know how I could possibly put on any other jersey other than Frontier right now. Yeah, that would... <laughs> <laughs> I would be sick to my stomach. We bleed Red Hot Red. <laughs> Yeah, can you imagine wearing <laughs> blue Ugh. or yellow? Just the, just the thought of it sends shivers down my spine. Seriously. Or green. Green, oh my god. Do people actually wear that? <laughs> I think so. Wow. They blend right into the grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look like ground. <laughs> <laughs> No offense to any uh, <laughs> <laughs> people who wear green. I'm sure yeah, it's a beautiful personal. color. <laughs> I'm sure personal. on the basketball court. It's <laughs> In fact, we've got both our uh, goalkeepers wearing green tonight. Oh, yeah. They look great out there. <laughs> <laughs> Just personally. <laughs> <laughs> and our reds are in yellow. No offense to them either. Oh, no. <laughs> we just know red is, the, is inherently the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back to the game. Back to the game. <laughs> Frontier, more good possession. Athol, no chance of counterattack there. Immediately stifled. And a little bit of slipping I'm seeing. Multiple plays where girls have slipped. Mm -hmm. Now they have cleats on, but when the grass is wet, which I'm sure is the it's case slick tonight. out there. Yeah. And Athol's kind of put the clamps down here. We thought maybe the game might be getting out of hand. Here's a chance. Looked like maybe handball. Yeah. That's what the Athol coach wanted. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of speed in this uh, frontier back four, though. Every single time, it's a 50-50 ball with them and Athol. They're just working harder to get to it. Yeah. And that's really hurting these Athol forwards. Got to give credit to Athol, though, not folding after it went down 2-0. Keeping some of the wind in their sails. Oh, yeah. Definitely, they're playing it in Frontier's half now, which is really love for it to stay, but here's a chance. Okay, let's take it to the middle. Yeah, looking for her teammate, and she finds her great ball right at her feet. 
Right to the goalie. Yeah, no angle for a, for a power shot there. Easily fielded. It's always good to get shots on goal when you can. Mm -hmm. Again, Frontier just erasing that counterattack attempt. And then one guy. He's like my brother. And once again. See, that's what ends up happening with my friends. If they ever have one in there, I'm all stuck driving. A little bit of physicality over there in that corner. Like, I'll drink occasionally when I'm home. But that's about it. Now they should really try and leave that area, and Martin does just that. Yeah, good idea get it out of there. Crocker's going to play it back to Speth. Yeah, Frontier likes to spread out this whole field and not keep it clogged in one area. Mm. Bit of a miscommunication, I think. Speth might have thought that Danak was going to try and advance with the ball, or she just hit it wrong. She wasn't very pleased after that play. You always want to minimize the turnovers wherever you can. Ooh, nice play. And Kevitt's great find. She is just fantastic with these assists. it. Oh, I don't know if that was a smart touch there. Yeah, trying to do a little too much, I think, in the box. In that situation, you've really just got to smash your foot into it as soon as you get the chance because the defenders will be right upon you. But Frontier got a five on five. Choose not to use it. Yeah. I think Kevitt's thinking that Rajbali would go for it and almost did get to it, but Athol will send it the other way. Yeah, and you've got to think coming into the second half, uh, getting tired might be a factor for for Athol. They might get weighed down a little bit more. Yeah, they might be looking for this half to just come. When I say weighed down, I don't just mean the regular 9.8 meters per second from uh, the force of gravity. Uh, I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I think you mean 9.8 <laughs> meters per second squared. Yeah, meters uh, per second squared. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing Mr. Markle doesn't look at these. <laughs> Raleigh thinking about maybe going for it. Just play it back to Dana. Dana pops it up. To no one in particular, but Frontier still comes down with it. <laughs> Martin, good find. Great ball to Denkevitz. I think this is a goal. Oh, no. Just a little too far. Ball stays in the air. Trying to not put much pressure on the ball. No, they're taking a relaxed approach on this on this play. Oh, Ooh. there's some aggression. Ooh. <laughs> Definitely mutual respect between these teams. Not getting too chippy. Nope. Not like last year, there was a legendary, or I should say, horrible fight between <laughs> Drury Infamous. and Hopkins in the postseason. And people were squaring up in that fight. Oh, yeah, that'll be in the memory of these soccer watchers for a long time. <laughs> I mean, video of it. I know. Whole nine yards. Raj Bali looking for the through ball to Dink Kevitz. Nobody's ever in the right when you throw hands, but sometimes you just got to protect your brothers out there or sisters. Oh, of course. <laughs> Take that how you may, but <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not promoting violence in any way, but. <laughs> Dana gets it in the day. Uh, Martin. Warren Krause it. 
There's Crocker. She's got all the time in the world. Yeah, no pressure from the Athol forwards. Yep, and Sierra Warren in for Frontier up on that right side. Got some subs coming on. Hamilton back in for Martin. And I believe that's the first rest Martin will have tonight. Yeah, well earned. Five minutes to go in the half. It is starting to feel a bit like fall in the air, but. Yeah, looking like it on the trees, but we still got some heat. Yeah. Tough. Long summer. Yes. Yeah, it looked like we just got a flicker of lightning here, but. Did it? Yeah, no noise or anything, so we'll play on. Frontier. Ooh. Oh, and she's got it back. She can put it in here, but right to the keeper. Frontier racing to get in front of that ball, but just not quick enough. Nice boot. Crocker gets beat. Uh, go right to the keeper. And would you count that as a shot on goal? I don't count anything for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've done a better job of getting it into the, the frontier half this, this second quarter of the game, but... I mean, get, yeah, give them goal. credit, though. They've, they've bared down a little bit. They, those two corners, I think, were by far their best chances thus far. Yeah, they really got just kicked in the butt in the first 20 minutes, those two goals. and uh, But since then, last 17 minutes, yeah, not a whole lot. So they've definitely readjusted and uh, fixed whatever was going wrong. You certainly hope Frontier hasn't gotten complacent here, but... Mm, because 2-0 game is far from over. Yeah, I mean, if I'm doing the math correctly, if Athol scores one goal, we've got a we've got a one goal game. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna trust you on that. <laughs> oh, miscommunication with Warren and Mackin. So Frontier really not playing with their stars out there tonight. Right now, anyway, we've got Dinkevitz and Hamilton on the bench. Getting some well-earned rest. Mm -hmm. Don't expect them to come back again this half. Yeah, Patelli's certainly showing he, he has trust in his uh, bench players. And that he has options. Uh, Good look to the middle. Oh, Hamilton is in there. Bobby. Athol holding it. They've got three coming back. And Frontier just beats nice him to the play. ball. Nice play there. <laughs> Athol's got to be hoping at the maximum two two goal deficit going into that. They can't let they can't let another one score through. On the flip side, Frontier, if they could add one here, they basically, they would be feeling very comfortable. Samantha would, I mean, Frontier will give Samantha Scanlon, I believe, a rest. And there's a foul heading Athol's way. So with under two minutes to go, the clock is on the ref's, the ref's wrist right now. We'll begin the whistle soon for halftime. Not much urgency out there for the Red Hawks right now. 
Nope, they look like they're content to just pass it around for the last few minutes. Okay. Athol, a big send up the side to nobody. And there's some work for the ball boy. Beth. Ooh. Yep, Athol. Picked off. Ball's in the middle. Ooh, potential for a shot, but Hamilton totally all the way back. Beth. Hamilton got all the way back there and just intercepted that one. Yep. Oh, good beat by Rajbali. Can she get to it? She can. She's got teammates up the side. Will it stay in? No, it will not. And that could just be because of the curve of the field, to be honest. Because that seemed to be a straight ball when it came off her foot. But the curve of the field. We've got a beautiful field. Uh, I, I think that I hope we're not getting a conspiracy theory coming out. Might be a little Come convex. <laughs> There's the boot. Over Spets' head. Apple looking to track it down. And that'll do it for the first half. So a great half for Frontier. Coming out 2-0. Maintaining probably 70-30 possession. And constant pressure on the Athol defense. Athol piecing together a little bit of something in that second quarter of the first half. But no goals and very few shots on goal. Yeah, so we'll be back after this. We're going to enjoy some burrito rolls from Mesa Verde. And... Uh, yeah, come, back, shout out Mesa. come back with a full full stomach in the second half. Maybe you'll be able to tell a difference. <laughs> <laughs> we will. I'm Dan Graves, Esquire. Deerfield's town moderator. He's a practicing attorney. You can call his lead field office at 773 for all your legal needs. Body C DJ service for the best money disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bodycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Korea. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. And joining us for the first time, two brand new underwriters. Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime Deerfield residents and supporters of local athletics. Visit them at yarn.com. And Cheslick's Market in the center of South Deerfield. Great coffee, snacks, and great lunch specials, too. Go see Nicole and the gang today at Cheslick's Market in the center of South Deerfield. All right, folks. Tuning back in to the second half of Frontier vs. Athol on this Tuesday night in South Deerfield. Mm -hmm. Great first half from Frontier. Early pressure. Getting two goals in the first 15 minutes. And really throwing Athol back in their seats. And Athol putting a little bit of a response together later on but no points up on the board yet, and I'm sure they hope to change that. Let's see what adjustments both coaches have made after this half, <laughs> and see what they can bring. Yeah, I'm sure Phil Patelli is thrilled with the position this team is in right now. 2-0, not much pressure from Athol, and uh, yeah, he's gotta be feeling pretty confident going into senior day on Thursday. Yeah, this is definitely a good note to end on if he can keep this result. Yeah, Frontier, only three seniors, as we mentioned before, one of which is sadly unable to play due to a grotesque and terrible injury. <laughs> yeah, you saw her running out there, though, even yep. with that big brace on. So maybe in an emergency situation she's available, but I don't know. Have you spoken to Katie at all in recent weeks or days? Well, I believe that the injury uh, she sustained during softball, and it was quite serious, required uh, surgery. And... She will most likely be out for the entire season, but who knows? Senior night, maybe she'll yeah. power through and just get out in that field one last time. Yeah, you, you hate to see that. You hate to see that potentially end a, end a soccer career. Seriously. I thought we'll start with it. Yeah, the wing players are real wide here. They try to play it back. Oh, but Frontier runs right at them. Yeah, they're not Forced a turnover, around. five seconds in. The Red Sox aren't messing around. They're, they're, they're going for the prayer. The Red Sox? The Red Hawks. Oh, Red Hawks, sorry. Yeah. Got my mind on the, the Red, Red Sox, Sox are tonight. playing later tonight. Yeah, you'll see a great battle between Seo and Kershaw. Tonight. Yeah. You know, you hate to see the Dodgers in this series. Obviously, the Milwaukee Brewers outplayed them. But this is how life works sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you'll lose. 
sometimes the lovable, the team with the most heart. You're about to say lovable losers. No. Because who would that be? That would be the Chicago Cubs. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Yeah. Well, no. We respect them. We respect them. All right. Throw in. Dun, 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 dun. Frontier. Frontier. There's Wide a ball. Wide open on sides. Grizzly streaking dun, towards dun, the goal. Athol defender trying to cut her off. She takes an early dun. shot. And just like that, one minute, 13 seconds into the second half, and Grizzly is on the board for her second goal yeah. of the night. Frontier keeping the pressure on right from the get-go here in this second half. And you just saw that developing ages before it happened. Yeah, you you saw the turnover. You saw her look towards the middle. And Risley streaking up that left side, calling for the pass. She got it, and she knew right where to put it, that opposite side again, just like she did in the first half. I tell you, if you're watching this game on YouTube, you're going to want to rewind and watch that again. I wish we could. Beautiful soccer. And beautiful boy voices in the background as well. <laughs> Volume up. <laughs> yeah, do not mute us. <laughs> If you mute us, it sends us a notification. <laughs> Speth, good job giving it to the middle. Martin looking up. Ooh, just a little bit out of the reach of Raj A little too hurried there. Maybe the nerves are a little high after that exhilarating goal. Nice play. Keep it in. And that was Risley's second goal of the night. Really stepping up big for this Red Hawks team. Yep, add that to the point total. Already quite high for this season. Ooh, she tried to keep it in there. And one away from a hat trick. We might yeah. see some hats on the field tonight. Might be something. Well, maybe with this crowd. Oh, this, this crowd. <laughs> If I was down there, man, my shirt would be off. I'd be waving it in the air. Oh, yeah. Getting in the moment. Yeah, you could hear me a mile away if I was down there. But I've, I've got to stay composed up in the booth. Yes. This job requires complete control over our yeah. emotions, <laughs> as we've demonstrated so yeah. far. <laughs> we cannot have any biases whatsoever. No. We need to stay even keeled all the way through. Yeah, that laughing that we occasionally do is added. <laughs> we don't laugh on this broadcast. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Crocker. Battling. Yeah, hard nose defense. Oh. oh. Not, not happy with the call. That seemed like she Frontier just poked the ball away, but the ref minute. calling one second third foul of the night. Yeah, she, she may have just pulled Jessica the chair out, and that, would, that was what caused her to fall. But by number nine, Natalie. Nice Nancana. save. Not much action here for the goalkeeper green. No, she's got, a <laughs> she's got a pretty dead night. Nice kick out there. Right to Natalie. Martin. Martin. Oh. There's Crocker. Plenty of time. She'll play it back. Very little pressure from Athol. Hopefully after the game we could get one of these Red Hawks players on the air. That'd be great. For Ask an interview. Them questions and pick their mind about postseason and what's to come. Good steal by Hamilton. Here comes the throw in. Frontier keeping Risley up. I think Kevis seems to not be that striker that they keep up anymore. Although there she is. And she stays with it. And not quite. No numbers there, though. I thought three back pretty quickly. Of course, with Dan Kevitz and Rizzo, you'll take those odds 2v3. I for sure would. Ooh. 
a little physicality in the corner, and that'll be a goal kick. Beth getting out there, right to the feet of Crocker. And here comes Mack up the left side. Nice cross. They've got numbers. Oh, good Real move, up. bringing it back. Then Kevitz, oh, just over. <sighs> Nearly her second of the night. Just over. Or was it to the side? Maybe a bit of both. Yeah. From our angle, it looked good. Until the last moment when it didn't go in the net. Indeed. It was one of those where we went, ooh. <laughs> Is that <a> ooh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes Athol. Oh, that's a great oh. ball. Will she get to it? <laughs> it seems as though she got to it, but she just didn't kick it. I would have laid out for that. Just trying to. Tap it up and over the keeper who was rushing the ball. Well, I'm sure it's easy to say that, but in the moment, it's a little tougher. As we like to say, easier said than done. Oh, you love to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and that is very true. <sighs> of course, as much as you love the game, Mr. Carey, your career ended after sixth grade. Or fifth grade? Yes. Soccer was once <laughs> was once my love, but the terrible thing is, with all first loves, they never last. <laughs> Cross country soon came and yeah. stole my heart yeah. forever. <laughs> but I gotta say, I mean, they do say first love never die in your heart. So I mean, something's still there. That's why you're in the booth. A piece is still there. I'll choose back at thirty. Dinkevitz could play on the side. Risley has a chance to put it in. Ooh, that'll be a corner. That'll be a corner. We've got a five. We'll corner. have a pentagon. <laughs> we'll have a pentagon. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to elect to have Speth take it. Let's see if she can elevate this ball a little bit. And this is starting to make sense. So on the on the side when Denkevitz's right foot is on the inside, she takes it. And when Speth's left foot is on the inside, she takes it. So Speth and Denkevitz, the prime set piece takers here. On the inside or the outside? When so they want the corner kick taker to be coming from out of bounds behind the goal. Yes. Yeah. And so that's why they elected to have Speth take that one instead of the usual Denkevitz special. Interesting strategy because it seems as though Denkevitz is definitely getting the ball up a little more. Yeah. But she's also such a weapon in the box, it can't hurt to have her in there. Mm -hmm. Risley and, uh, uh, and Denkevitz both bring height to the box, which is certainly valuable when you're putting the ball up. There's Warren. Turns it over. Good stop, though. Now Hamilton has Here it right in Hamilton. the middle. She's got options. Hamilton against this team is like a knife through butter. Then Kevitt's able to pop it to Risley, and she'll settle for the throwing. Almost thirty, don't you worry. Well, that's tough. She stepped on the line, or she didn't get it over her head. Not quite sure which. <laughs> My fellow broadcaster, Karsten Carey, will be temporarily inactive due to a chip and some salsa. But I'm here, so you won't miss anything. Correction, it's actually guacamole. And I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for getting that right. <laughs> I'm just trying to be as accurate as possible. We strive for the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and Athol... True as day, <laughs> putting pressure on this frontier oh, oh. defense. Oh, that was a good idea. Oh. Oh. 
So just when you think something might be up for Athol, you realize it's not. <laughs> yeah, a little bit chaotic there in the box. Frontier able to dispel the attack. There are definitely times for both teams where patience is just a virtue. Yeah, you've seen it with Frontier really taking the time to set up their, their shot for two of those three goals. And their passes as well. Mm -hmm, really paying off for them. <coughs> and Athol doing a little bit of passing here. And that's a good move. Just boot it out of bounds, reset. Take a few deep breaths. Yeah, they know Athol isn't doing much off these throwing, so definitely better than letting them Ooh. boot it in. That was a nice kick, but not quite on target. Here comes Green. A good boot. Maybe we'll get something started for Frontier. Ooh, sweet header by Hamilton. Oh, right great to ball by Evans. Here we go. Grizzlies off to the races. Good D. Yeah, good job cutting her off. Grizzlies got to keep her head up a little bit more and watch out for people trying to intercept her. Here comes another chance for Frontier. Look for the cross. There it is. There's right there. Oh, my God. And it was right at her feet, right in front of the goal. Wow. And somehow she just popped it up. Yeah, I don't think there's any deflection she just missed. Yep, and that was Rush Bali. That's one she's going to want to have back tonight. Definitely great ball inside. Couldn't have asked for a better chance. <laughs> Here comes a goal kick. But then Kevin it stops it right in its tracks. And Rush Bali, maybe with some redemption. Nope. There's Danak. Interesting call to kick it out of bounds. I don't know if that was intentional or not. There's the ball into the Crocker. Here we go. A little bit of an attack from Athol. Big kick. And you see, that's the best thing that Athol can do right now. Yeah. I like that shot. I like that shot. Yeah, it's really try to just have this frontier keeper screw up and give her something that maybe gives her a little, little trouble. Yeah, that, that last shot had some mustard on it there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Questionable no call. That one goes over there. Dang, Kevitz putting some heat on that one. I mean, if that one on the other side had mustard, I don't know what this was. <laughs> That's uh, maybe some mayonnaise. <laughs> or something spicier. <laughs> oh, I mean. <laughs> that must have stung a little. I think that's why they wear the gloves. There's the kick. Frontier. There's Danak. Danak, she's got the whole field. She chooses to go up the side. Danak certainly a bright future for Frontier. Here we go. All right, let's see if Dan Kevis can use the speed. And nope, nope. That Athol defender, she's really quick. Oh, she's she's going to play it back to Rash Bali. She's going to pop it. And we've got a corner. That's number six. Give so us the shape. We'll see Speth coming up to take that again. Personally, I've been a fan of the Dan Kevitz set pieces tonight. Yes, I would agree. The hexagon being made. <laughs> Six corners for the frontier of this game. About 25 minutes to go in this half. There's a nice corner. Right to Dan Kevitz. Oh, and just too crowded around the box. Yeah, you got to elevate that a little bit. Yeah, great placement though. And Athol trying to get something going, a little counter, but Crocker's going to cut that off. Turn the Crocker. corner. Getting hung on. Here we go. Kevitz, she's got a person through. Ooh. I'd like to see her just pop that one on goal like she did earlier. Mm -hmm. She's got the power to get a goal from just about anywhere on the frontier half. There's Danak. Up to Martin. Over to Hamilton. Here she comes. Hamilton looking for Risley. They've really liked to send it up her way this, this game. Ooh, Athol almost had something there. You just feel like Athol is 
a puzzle that's missing one piece. And where would that piece be, you think? Defense or offense? Well, in the puzzle, I would say it would be a corner piece because it's obviously very important. So maybe a midfielder. Yeah, I'd say it's a little bit, a little bit of everything. Yeah, well, that piece is sorely needed as they face a 3 nothing deficit. Yeah. 24 minutes left, and at this point, you're starting to give up hope yeah. on the South Hall team if you hadn't already. After all, every every puzzle starts with that. you got to get the four corners. Yep, very true. Great metaphor for the team <laughs> we're seeing here tonight. Oh, and there's a clear handball. She may as well have caught that and, and brought it down like a hockey player. You know it's a handball when everyone raises their hand like that. It's just like in our classes here at Frontier with all the student engagement and everyone's always got their hands up. Yeah, extremely <laughs> involved students here at Frontier. Very participatory. <laughs> just excellent <laughs> student body in general. Not to toot my own horn or anything. And I think, I think that's why they were able, they had the muscles in their arms to quickly shoot up their hands like that. Yeah, that really gave the ref uh, <laughs> some assistance. Because they're not, not big movers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to give them credit. They're doing a great job tonight out here. Very true. And there is one on each half, so there's not much of a need to yeah, they've kept a clean game show their wheels. Far. Frontier looking up the corner. Risley has it. Where's she going to go? Ooh. Trying to get to two Dankevitz. There she is. And shot. She's going to shot. Ooh. She took that right somewhere on her back leg. And in the in the cold, that, that you feel that a little bit. Mm -hmm. What do they call those nowadays? A stinger? Sure. <laughs> stinger sounds good. <gasps> Athol with some possession. If you're listening to this, maybe leave in the comment section another word that you would use for one of those. Yeah, another word that you would use when you have a ball hit you sharply in the back, upper leg. In the cold. In the cold. Maybe a zipper. Mm, nah, I don't know if that, really, if that really connotates the... I like that er The pain. What about a whipper? <laughs> Or a snipper. Snipper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to Speth. You know something good's going to happen when she's got the ball back there. Yeah, great find at the left side. Taylor, you too low. Right there to Hamilton. There's Martin. Over to Bali. Back to Danek. Oh, oh, she can't go. She she knew she was offside there. Yeah, clearly offside. Although these refs have not been big on calling offside. I think he was ready to call it. I think he might be able to slip by being a couple couple feet off. <laughs> oh, she's got Risley wide open in the middle. Just missed her. Yeah, I think oh, a lot of physicality there. Oh, oh, no whistle. Great ball inside. She really withstood a lot of contact there. Seriously, well, she initiated a good amount too, so. <laughs> this is a Carson, may I remind you, we're representing Frontier Regional School. You know, this is Frontier Community Access Television. I like to say as an <laughs> unbiased, objective <laughs> commentator up here. Well, that makes one of us. And here's a substitution. Just as uh, Justice Annan and Scalia <laughs> like. And out comes Rajbali and then Kevitz. Quick break for the juniors. Yeah, they've certainly been busy passing it up and back and forth to each other on that right side. Athol, 
piecing something together here just through this yeah. scrappy play. There was a bit of silence between us, I think, as we were just taking it all in. Yeah. The beautiful game, as they call it, sometimes, sometimes the voices behind it aren't necessary. <laughs> yeah, so Frontier getting nice, short, crisp passes in. And we're under 20 minutes to go here in the second half. Yeah, so we're into this final quarter of play. And this, the ball's really been hanging out in the, the middle 50% here. Yeah, it's not uh, not leaving that area. No, no pressure on either team's defenders. I'm sure both coaches would like to see a little more crispness in their games come the end of the season, postseason play. Yeah, definitely periods like this where Frontier struggles. So is Frontier clinching a playoff berth tonight with a win? Oh, they already did. So we will be well, they're going to get to 10 wins Girl tonight, though, right? Will this be win number 10? All right, this will be win number 9. As they're 8, 5, and 2. And have exceeded the points needed to make it to the playoffs. So it's all about seeding now, and we know how important that is. Yeah, that certainly impacts the way your team can survive in the playoffs. Meet up with the one seed too soon, not a whole lot of postseason experience, and they'll flap you. <laughs> and you'll just be on that bus. Wondering what the heck just <laughs> happened. <laughs> oh, wow, contact. Athol player down briefly, able to come back up. Yeah, you don't want to don't want to go home too early playing your sad song playlist. No. Save that for uh, <laughs> for much later. You want to be playing We Are the Champions at the end of this. When it's all said and done. Dana looking for Here we go. Three. Could it be number three? See, this defender, I think, is faster than her. Yeah, I would say that's accurate. Oof. Maybe some tired legs there for Risley. Mm, just got away from her at the end. But great pass setting up that run. And we've got another substitution. Both teams take advantage of this pause and play. And I think I heard some noise from the fans there. Acknowledging their player coming off. Great to see, and it's certainly a little bit better than it was at the beginning of this game. And to say nothing else about these home fans tonight, they do outnumber the Athol fans, as we can see on the other side of the field. Mm -hmm. Athol making a bit of an appearance, but nothing, nothing very noticeable tonight. Although I guess at these soccer games, uh, the fans sit on the same side. Yeah, we see that. Here comes Risley. Ooh, oh, nice shot. Wow. And that came off a deflection, I believe. Nice shot, nice save. That was definitely going to find the back of the net if, if the goalie hadn't gotten in there. And Dinkiewicz will check back in and take this corner. Yep, and Speth will come off a defensive stalwart for Frontier. We'll get some rest. Yeah, come playoff time, I don't think either of those players are going to be on the bench much. No. Yeah. Ooh. Martin got, got a body on that. Is going to try? Oh. It was a good idea. There was a girl in the back, in the back there, but nothing came of it. Here's a goal kick. Good header. Frontier looking to keep the pressure on in these waning minutes. There's throwing. Oh, good ball up the side. And just a little too strong. Oh, 
And Speth coming right back on. Maybe got a little water break. And, uh, yeah, not much of a break for it. her. And here comes Alexa Cassis as well, I think. Yep. And so Risley will be given a, a much deserved break. Yeah, Coach Patelli really pulling his strings tonight. Yeah, Risley with two goals. And Hamilton will come off as well as one of the point leaders for Frontier this season. And we're seeing Patelli without his signature beard right now. I wonder if he'll be growing that out for the postseason. Yeah, or? I mean, he looked like a totally different person when I got here. I mean, this is the fall, man. If it's not out right now, when's it coming? He might be waiting for uh, November. I know some of Martin. us are. <laughs> to debut the, <laughs> the scruff. And now it looks like Dan Kevitz is going to be playing more of a defensive position. Yeah, she's shifted back. She did substitute in for Speth, but... We're unaccustomed to seeing her back there. So it'll be interesting to see how Frontier can handle the offensive duties without their perennials. Maybe just an effort from Coach Patelli to secure the shutout for her young goalkeeper, get a great confidence boost for her. as she's played basic, basically perfectly till this point. Certainly a 3-0 win sounds a lot better than a 4-1 win. What about a 5-0 win? A 5-0 <laughs> win. <laughs> Seems to sound like you're running up the score a little. <laughs> oh, maybe, would you really put that out there? Maybe right? not having a whole lot of class. <laughs> I think 3-0 is perfect. <laughs> perfect position. I can't think well. of a better position. <laughs> you know, I, neither can I. God, but, it's great to have that. But sometimes position. you think you're in a perfect position and then out of nowhere, something happens. We'll see if Athol can be so lucky tonight. I mean, they've got 13 minutes to go. Lucky number 13. Crazier things have certainly happened. <laughs> or would you disagree with that? It's pretty psychotic, man. <laughs> <laughs> you think this would be in out of the out of the realm of possibility a comeback here? This would be historic. <laughs> if Athol were able to pull this off with what we've seen tonight. But you never know what's going to happen. True. I mean, Brewers didn't make the World Series this year. I know. We don't want to talk about that. But. World Series obviously kicks off tonight. we got the Red Sox and the Dodgers. In other sporting news, the NBA season is just underway. And the Frontier Boys cross country team. Closed out a fourth consecutive undefeated regular season, five undefeated regular seasons in six years. And look good doing it from what I heard. <laughs> so Frontier with this young front line. Here's a chance. I don't think they're very accustomed to playing with one another right there, but oh. nearly a goal right there. Another spot where maybe you would have slid for it, or you say you would have. Mm, on that one, I'm not <laughs> sure if I would have been able to get to it, or anybody. Not unlike that last one. So Athol trying to get to working with the just too much speed from yeah. Den Kevitz. Cuts off the corners. All over that one. Athol had a step on her, but. Yeah, these forwards are just really trying to turn the corner, but they're realizing they can't. Yeah, it's interesting, a forward playing defense on forward. Don't see that very much as they rarely ever see each other. And that seems to pay off. She knows exactly what she wants to do. So this will be a throw in from Athol. A little tied up there. Big boot. And Green corrals it. Nice kick. Is that Poland? That is. Just unable to quite get a grasp of it. And Danak. Good ball up the corner. Poland not able to corral it. What a backspin on that ball. 
Nice ball and a yeah, nice ball into Scanlon. That's a nice ball. And wow, right through the defender's legs to Speth in the middle. What do you call that, man? <laughs> I call that nutmeg, man. Ooh. I had some cottage cheese and nutmeg pancakes for breakfast today. And they too went right through me. <laughs> 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 All right, getting a little personal here. Great job by the Kevin clearing it. <laughs> <laughs> there comes Frontier. You know your statement is questionable when <laughs> the athletic director hears it and uh, speaks his disapproval. <laughs> so the throw in will come from Dan Kevitz. Yeah, she's just everywhere on defense right now. We're now under 10 minutes to go here. Is Danak? Now Athol just looking to do whatever they can to save any amount of face they have left after tonight. And Frontier will have a ball going forward. Frontier continues to hustle, continues to push up. Athol seems a little more reluctant at this point, but mm -hmm. Frontier are showing great fitness and conditioning. Ooh, and that a kick. is wow! Almost, oh my god! Wow. I think maybe in that situation. <laughs> The ball wasn't really to anyone, but it certainly was impressive stuff. Yes. And Dan Kevitz may have been expecting a run to be made. Yeah, clearly maybe some miscommunication between her and her new forwards. Always good to get the ball wherever you can, though. I mean, close to the goal whenever you can. Yeah, I mean, you know, you just, go. <laughs> just kicked it out someone, but... I mean, if she was, like, 10 yards closer... That could have been on goal. That could have been going over the keeper's head. Yeah, no doubt. Because the keeper definitely was not expecting a shot from that far away. Talking 55 yards. And certainly feels like Athol is tossed in the towel here. Yep, getting a sub in. Not Late. Yeah. Come on, get there. There's a chance though. Athol has it inside. It doesn't look like she has Ooh. any angle to do anything. Plays back. Could be a shot. Think Kevin gets her body in front of it. And Frontier, they still want to push it up. Speth, great fight from her. I mean, after those first 20 minutes or so, it's been a 1-1-1-0 one, 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 game. So really, Athol has done a good job of making it competitive, but that quick lapse early in the first half has done them in here tonight. Yeah, they were a far cry from the team we saw walk out on this field. But hopefully they'll walk off a, a better team. You know what they say, when you lose, you learn. St. Kevitz. And of course, when you win, you can also learn something. Hopefully, Frontier has done that tonight. Mm. Again, getting it over the defense is Kevitz. Yep, Cass is trying to chase that ball down and Ooh. gets a foot on it, but it'll be Athol's ball heading the other way. Good contest there. Miss Speth with the ball. She always seems to make the smart decision with it. Yeah, I think Kevitz could switch over to the side. And we're gonna have a mass substitution coming in at the next whistle. Oh yeah, Frontier really shoveling in the youth right now. We've got Mackin, Crocker, uh, Risley, and I'm struggling to see the number on the other. Yeah, maybe Maripiz. Oh yes, Maripiz. Peasy. Or no. My mistake, that is Grace O'Leary. Okay. Yeah, we've seen all these players in tonight at some point. Yeah, but like you said earlier, senior Katie Devine, although she was introduced with the team, 
she has not gotten in, and that is presumably due to the injury. And I believe she is the only Frontier player who has not gotten in. As well as their backup keeper. Yes. Who you don't expect to see, in, in, except for in case of an emergency. So we've got four minutes, 35 seconds to go here. Clearance by Denkevitz. Yeah, that's a good play. And it's Frontier gets it back. Looks like it took a deflection off Athol. Here's a nice throw in. Goes to Mackin. Mackin looks the other side of the field. Great find. Mackin certainly seems to be on the path towards a great career here at Frontier. Only a freshman and she plays out there with a lot of poise. Only a freshman, huh? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be able to tell it with the way she's playing out there right now. And that is just great if you're a Patelli. All yeah. that potential on the field. Yeah, it seems like we've been saying this every year though for a while. So at some point they've gotta get over, get over the hump. Mm -hmm. At some point, all that potential has got to amount to something. More than a first-round defeat in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Because as good as it is to get to the playoffs, as soon as you're there, you want so much more. Yeah, the expectations seem to have been rising each year. Last year, they were, were kind of a surprise team, but this year they were certainly expected to be a playoff team and maybe be a contender when they're there. And then next year, I think, is really... It could be their peak year. Obviously, right now, they don't want to look, look at anything except this year, but looking at all that they've got coming back, next year could be the year. It very well could be. Either last year with players like Risley and Denkevitz, but with the play we're seeing tonight, those roles may not be irreplaceable. However, they're certainly nice to have. Of course, co competition will always be tough around here with the with girls soccer. Yeah, there will never be a year where winning Western Mass is easy in any yeah. sport. That is just totally ridiculous. Except gymnastics, because I believe there are only a few programs. So you maybe know, not easy. But I know <laughs> very little about gymnastics in this area, so I won't speak upon <laughs> and offend any gymnasts <laughs> who are watching our stream right now. <laughs> I would definitely not say easy, but perhaps the con competition is less stiff with the number of programs in Western Mass. Oh, Athol, Here's a chance. they might score. Nope. Oh, she gets wiped out, though. Oh, Athol's not happy. And the coach is not happy. The fans are not happy. I personally am amazed at the whistle. Was yeah. That I sounded there. Because in a situation like this, a scoreless Athol, I know. maybe throw them something. And now we're in, we're in stoppage time now here. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, I would have to see a replay. It's very possible that she got all ball. Uh, well, the, uh, the ball went right to the keeper. <laughs> the possibility still remains. Y you know, <laughs> in this game, we're <laughs> flopping. We hate, to, we hate to talk about it, but it's there. So who knows? But from our angle in the booth, a few dozen yards away. So Natalie like looks to clear that out of bounds, so it's a smart play. This game is all but over here at Frontier Regional School on the football field. The score is 3 nothing. We're hoping to get a Frontier Red Hawk up in the booth for an interview after the game. Yep, and at this point, uh, I think everybody, including the Red Hawks players, most definitely Red Hawks players, are just waiting for those last few whistles. Yeah. And then they'll be on to Thursday's game. Mm-hmm. Senior night should be something. Come, ooh, there's the slick field that yeah, you see. Yeah, talking about the slippery grass. I mean, it took one step and boom, hit the ground. It happened to the best of us. She did a good job laughing it off, though. <laughs> Here it goes, Frontier. And that'll do it for the game. Finished off here 3-0. Two goals from Risley and one from Denkevitz. Two in the first 15 minutes and one coming. Is that in the second half? Yes. 
right early in the second half on a nice, nice run there for Grizzly. And I think she's going to have to be our player of the game tonight. I would say so. Two goals for the Red Hawks. Did she assist St. Kevitz as well? She very well might have because those two were back and forth all night helping each other out and really giving each other the best chance to score. So now we hope our man Brett Robinson will go get one of the players for us to interview. Because he is a charming man. <laughs> Let that be on record. And the two teams will shake hands. A good competitive game. Respect on both sides. Yeah, you know, it makes the game a lot better to watch uh, when a team like Athol can turn it around and pick themselves up and not get... Uh, yeah, like we said earlier, they played a competitive game after the first 20 minutes. Uh, and tonight was a good opportunity for Coach Phil Patelli to really incorporate everyone into, into, his, into the lineup and, you know, see how things work, pull the lever, levers a little bit. And depth like this will certainly pay off in the postseason as they will be relying on everybody to make some sort of contrib contribution when their playing has to be at the highest level. Yeah, no doubt. As we talked about earlier, Frontier is playing for their seed now as they've already clinched uh, birth to the Western Mass Tournament. Yep, so every game counts a lot. Even the goals. I mean, winning this game 3-0 means a lot more to the seeding than winning it 1-0. And that was definitely revealed yeah. when the seeds are considered. Everyone will certainly notice it. Yep, so I'd say they can't take a single minute of these next few games off. All right. Hopefully in a few minutes we'll have a player here to interview. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. Deerfield's town moderator. He's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773 for all your legal needs. Body seat DJ service for the best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bodyseatdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. And joining us for the first time, two brand new underwriters. Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Usher, who are longtime Deerfield residents and supporters of local athletics. Visit them at yarn.com. And Cheslick's Market in the center of South Deerfield. Great coffee, snacks, and great lunch specials, too. Go see Nicole and the gang today at Cheslick's Market in the center of South Deerfield. All right, everybody. We are here with player of the game, Jessica Risley. Two goals tonight. Tell us what you saw out there and how you did what you did and how the team's looking. Um, I just had an opportunity, and I took it. And team's looking good. We're in tournament. Got that bread. <laughs> Shout out, guys. Um, yeah. So for this team, what kind of bread were you going for? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. All of the bread. All right, just a few quick questions about the team. Who's the funniest player on the team? Um, she doesn't play, but I think Michaela Santos. All right. She makes me laugh all the time. All right, who's got the best playlist on the team? Um, I think Nat Dank. She has the best playlist. All right, talk a little bit about uh, Coach Philip Patelli, how, he, how he's working the team, how the progression's been throughout the year and from last year, too. He's doing really well, helping us out a lot. I don't know. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, and now tell us a little bit about your young, your young core, all these players that are stepping up. They're only freshmen and sophomores. Um, they're doing really good, playing up, and yeah, I don't have a lot of words. All right, thank you very much. Uh, that's you. our player of the game, Jess Risley. Two goals tonight. And now we'll get Carson back on here to sum it all up. All right, some great words about the season that is really only beginning for a lot of these girls who are going to see a great postseason, I believe, with all this young talent and depth that will certainly pay off. Yeah, no doubt about it. And we'll see you all Thursday. Thursday night, we've got the senior night. Yep, and if this goes up on YouTube before Thursday, be there. Yeah, we need a crowd. Be right? there. Unlike the crowd tonight. <laughs> all right. It's been a blast. Shout out to FCAT TV, all they do for our school, all the local events, uh, great coverage. And uh, we'll see you next time. I'm Alex. And I'm Karsten. Peace. Peace.